Have you ever felt that you wanted to speak out about something that was going on in the world, but thought a single voice couldn't make a difference in it? If so, our minute for mission this morning might be helpful. Avaz is an online community that empowers millions of people from all walks of life to take action on pressing global, regional, and national issues, from corruption and poverty to conflict and climate change. Since Ivaz began 10 years ago, they have grown to over 45 million members in 195 countries. And because Ivaz is wholly member-funded, democratic accountability is in their DNA. Please watch this short video offered by the founder of this organization, Rick Patel, a Canadian born in Edmonton and educated at Oxford in the UK. He describes himself as passionate about deliberative democracy, chocolate, and social justice. Hi everybody, I'm Rickon, I'm the Executive Director at Avaz, and uh, I really do, every morning, wake up incredibly grateful and excited to be able to serve this community and this mission and to work with this unbelievable team. And I say with some confidence that if you were to join Avaz, I think you would feel the same way. Um, first of all, the team, unbelievably talented, many from the tops of their professions and areas, uh, and yet uh, and very professional and results-oriented, and yet unbelievably low drama, and um, just a fantastically great pleasure to work with across the board as a team. Uh, we're very meritocratic. It's all about the mission. Uh, we welcome and cherish leadership from all of us. I feel supported as a leader. You will feel that way too. Um, I can't, again, can't speak too much about the team. The work also feels so grateful to wake up every morning, think about the worst problems in the world and the most effective things we can do about those problems and feel utterly unconstrained by any kind of limitation about what we do to try and address those problems. You have a team of outstanding public entrepreneurs to help you. You've got 30 million subscribers, just great people all over the world who want to make a difference and who are willing to do anything, make phone calls, donate money to media or ad campaigns and high level lobbying and advocacy. Um, and all that really constrains you in changing the world is the limits of your own creativity. Um, that's a, it's, a, it's an immense, immense pleasure and also an immense responsibility. Um, and all of that is part of a larger vision that I feel that Avaz is gradually and at an exponential pace, uh, we're doubling every year, we're changing the face of democracy and of politics and giving citizens a way to engage on an ongoing, active basis in highly effective ways. And doing so in the context of a larger strategic vision where our goal is to build highly functioning democracies in a critical mass of the world's uh, powerful nations within the next 20 years. And, uh, you know, I think about that in the context of this moment when our world and our planet is so profoundly threatened by multiple collective action crises, the climate, climate crisis, absolutely, but, but so much more that's coming down the pike. And the necessity for us all to be better and wiser, our democracies to work better, our civil society to function better, our citizenship to function, um, Avaz is at the core of that. So if this charge and this mission feels right for you, if it feels like the next step in your journey. I think we owe it to each other and we owe it to the world to get in touch and team up. And let's team up and let's make magic together. Thanks. So for, <clears throat> for more, more information or to become a member of Avaz and add your voice to some of the global initiatives that are happening, please add your name to the Avaz information sheet on the table at the back. It's actually here. Oh, it's here? Yeah. Okay. On the table over here, right next to these wonderful tomatoes. Um, 
add, add your name there or speak to Jim if you would like to have more information about Avaz and how that global connection is happening online through a variety of initiatives and, and petitions. Thanks, Beth.